Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to optimize ready or not. So this is kind of a different video I'm making today. And as you can see, my graphics are on high. And I'm using a GTX 1070. Um, and I know a lot of you guys still have like the GTX series. Um, and they aren't as powerful as like the 3060s, the 40 series and all other cards and they cost a lot more so ready or not is a very awesome game I've been enjoying playing this game right now a lot and as you can see my FPS is pretty garbage and my GPU usage is ass as well I don't know why um, so I'm gonna show you how to optimize the game just from the game like no no settings no other things like going into files and shit nothing i'm just gonna do it right right from the game so you want to go to graphics and then advanced make sure this is on like your native resolution and just put this on 100 then you go to advanced graphics options and we will actually be able to have very good texture qualities and like we will we will be able to have almost everything on high or epic uh, put this on epic because we want nice textures put this on medium because it does have a big impact on performance But we also don't want the shadows to look like ass and then put these two on high or I mean epic Keep this on high and put this on epic now You want a frame limit because you don't want, really want to fry your components as well uh, Motion blur can be uh, disabled it's your own preference if you like it or not. I do like a little bit just to smoothen things out. Not too much, like 10% is good. Um, and then this is probably the biggest impact on performance of all the settings. When you turn this off, you will get so much FPS. And I actually don't see a big difference on the visuals on the game. And I will show you guys. Uh, turn this off definitely and honestly you won't even need to have fsr2 or dlss or whatever you're using uh, depending on what graphics card you have um and yeah you can put this on boost as well if you want to and just look at my fps right now we're just chilling on about 50 fps boom it jumps straight to 135 fps and look at the game it still looks great all right 110 FPS it still looks great we almost doubled our FPS I mean we did double our FPS still looks great you can still play the game amazing doesn't lag look at our FPS it's really steady so uh, and as you can see the visuals are awesome you can see the smoke and the heat coming from the like it's it's just great it's great and Let's try to throw something. Boom. You see, no big stutters on the FPS. It's working great. This is working perfect. And as you can see, our GTX 1070 is working much more now. Which is, I mean, good. You want your GTX 1070 or, you know, your graphics card to actually be utilized on games. Um, so, yeah. This is how I optimize the game and make it look beautiful as well as getting high fps and i hope you guys will enjoy having this much fps as i do on this game and uh yeah i'll see you guys on another video peace